Okay, good morning to you and welcome back. This is Studio Group Africa. If you just tuned in, reaching for Studio Saying on Do City, I remain Ezekiel Oga. Uh, for a while now we've been talking on mental health, particularly uh, adults, but now we intend going to be lower to children and kids. And uh, from here I understand from birth to age five, uh, a child's brain develops more than at any other in life and early brain development has a lasting impact on a child's ability to learn and succeed in school and life. 90% of brain growth happens before kindergarten. At birth, the average baby's brain is about a quarter of the size the average adult's brain. It keeps growing to about 80% of adult size by age 3 and 90% nearly full grown by age 5. Furthermore, on mental health of a child, mental health is an important part of children's overall health and well-being. It includes children's mental, emotional and behavioral well-being. It affects how children think, feel and act. It also plays a role in how children handle stress, relate to others and make healthy choices. Mental health is other amongst children, however, I describe our serious changes in the way children typically learn, behave or handle their emotions, causing distress and problems getting through the day. Among the more common mental disorders that can be diagnosed in childhood are uh, attention, hyperactivity disorder, anxiety and behavior disorders. Th statistically speaking, in Nigeria, one in six young people aged 15 24 surveyed said they often feel depressed, have little interest in doing things or are worried, nervous or anxious. Now, one will usually think uh, issue of mental disorders actually happen just in adults, so you, uh, particularly in Nigeria, you know, there is plenty to say mm -hmm. in Nigeria. And then it comes to mental disorder, we really categorize it to say adults age 30 and above. But I guess it happens even in children. And we have, uh, which bring, brings us to our topic this morning, talking about child mental and brain health, its developmental process, nutrition and deficiency. And with us in the house, a registered nurse and a midwife, person of Bethel Jayola, welcome to Africa. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Well, before we go in depth into the discussion of the day, I would like you to tell us a little about the science of early childhood brain development. Okay. So, with the introduction given already, child brain development normally is one aspect of development immediately a child is being born. We have other areas of development. We have the motor of the physical development. We have the development that entails the language and communication. Then the emotion or the social aspects, the way they interact with their environment. Then lastly, the cognitive development. So the, the child's brain development is under the cognitive development. And as I said, the first five years of a child's life matters because that is the moment in which the brain develops more than any other time. Mm. And we are not ignorant of the fact that the brain development of a child affects all areas and all aspects of the child's growth and have a lasting impact on how far the child will succeed in life. Mm. So when we are talking about early growth development, it is a lifelong development when we talk about the brain development. But the first few weeks after conception to the fifth year of life, that means the first five years of life mm. plays a crucial and very important role in how the child will develop, mm. learn and succeed in life. So that is about the early development of a child. And how it begins is this. During pregnancy, while the child is still in the womb, the brain as an organ would have developed. Mm -hmm. And at that point in time, it is under, majorly under genetic control. Okay. Though it is still influenced in one way or the other by the environment. And that is through what the mother takes in. At that point in time, during preg pregnancy, we do encourage the mother to take you know, a well-balanced nutrition to feed on good foods, take supplements like folic acid, all this affects the brain development of a child. But immediately after conception, the brain development is under the influence of the environment or the experiences the child is being exposed to. Mm. So for parents, there is a way or intended couples or young ladies and women, young women and men outside, there is a way we can help our child to develop their brains. And how it begins is what we expose them to. The brain develops through 
the sense organs what you know the sense organ decides the sense of touch the sense of taste is being exposed to mm -hmm. so it is the level of exposure that we affect how the brain is able to develop because at that first five years of life mm -hmm. there's what we call the nerve cells that is the cells in the brain okay. they form a kind of connection you know i know majority of my viewers, viewers outside there may not be medical personnel mm. so i'll not be able to go in depth in into depth. the anatomical mm. development of mm -hmm. the brain but i would just like to explain this during these first five years of life there's a connection between <coughs> the neurons we call them synapses so they develop like two times as much as that of the adults so it's like immediately a child is born there's a kind of vacuum or a space in the brain mm. So what matters is the contents you put inside. That is what we determine how the child will be, how intellectual the child will be, how smart, how intelligent the child will be, how the child will be creative or have you know some specific problem solving skills. Okay. So in some way, early development of the brain side mm. is dependent on the exposure and the experiences the child is being exposed to the communication of the sense organ with the environment and experiences all around. Personally, I tend to wonder how negative or positive experience tends to <laughs> shape the brain of a child. I mean, it's more like they are young at that point. So how, how does it, how do they actually assimilate such information and create an awareness with that? How possible is the chemistry behind it? Okay. I think I explained earlier that at this point in time, the neurons is more activated than even the adults you mentioned something earlier immediately after birth the average size of a baby the average size of the brain is just a quarter of that of the adults by one year it doubles it and by 30 years like 80 percent and by 50 years like 90 percent when the sense organs you know have been activated through the experiences and environmental factors the neural activity the neural um, the neurons they are being activated unconsciously the, both consciously and unconsciously i'm going to give you some examples right now okay. let me say i'm a child i'm a baby and i'm being given maybe a food to eat mm -hmm. you know, most of the time you see children make mess of their food mm -hmm it is they they are just really exploring their environment and getting to understand what life is how when a child decides to touch the food from that the child will be able to learn the texture and the temperature of the food and probably the food is hot so you will see the child withdraw immediately next time when you give such child any food it would have been in the memory of that child not to touch the food immediately or maybe talking about the sounds they hear while moving things or while pushing things all those things is a way of exploring their environment and that is why so many things affect the cognitive development of a child at that point in time is the best time for you to expose them to things that will influence them positively things that would develop their neurological function their cognitive development and let's take for example a category of pupils in a class maybe primary one or, or no let me just say no street three and you will see that the level of the intellectual abilities of the children varies it all depends on what the parent have exposed them to that age is the age of real like they they they, they are ready to take in anything and assimilate anything that is a period of building you know someone says the gene is the blueprint of the brain but the experience and the environment carry out the construction so immediately you are they are born just as i said earlier it's like their brain is empty there's a vacuum there's a space you fill it up with whatsoever content you want you to want fill to. it with and that is why we are here not just to talk about the adult brain development mm. no because majority of the foundation has been laid during the first five years but that doesn't mean that a long life process the brain does not continue to develop it will continue to develop 
but the foundation matters the foundation matters that is the most important you spoke about nutrition i think to wonder just how much of an effect does nutrition during pregnancy affect the development of a child i mean uh, this is africa this is nigeria to be precise okay. i mean we see pregnant women eating granules and meat on the street and it's <laughs> <they're> just fine <laughs> i mean mm. i could say 50 to 60 percent of african women or nigerian women particularly they don't really care as to what they, diet. they only care about their cravings, their cravings. i mean <laughs> they take fanta and coke all at the same time mix it with sprite and they tell us what i feel except like for the disciplined ones because I, I they're, 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 they're actually like, uh disciplined personally like <laughs> 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 like I, I haven't seen just one just yet but i hope mm. to see that disciplined one so it is so it, it is normal we call that pika in medical terms pika okay. like okay. the cravings of a pregnant woman mm. Some might scream to just eat dry pepper. Some how, how might be craving. <laughs> just how wonderful is that? Some might be craving mm -hmm. for sand. They just want to see sand. Some might be craving for ice. You know, ice block to just it. So it 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 varies. <laughs> yes, there would always be pickers, but the place of good and well balanced nutrition cannot be overemphasized, mm -hmm. and that is one of the main reasons for antenatal clinic. That is one thing we do. We educate them on foods to feed on to be able to aid the brain development, the overall general development no, of child. their child. And most especially, the first few months of pregnancy like matters a lot. We call it the first trimester because that is the period in which most organs of the body are being developed. The first three months, the baby is already well formed. So the remaining few months is just for it, you know, to go, to get bigger. So what kind of food exactly do you think uh, has this propensity or tendency to actually affect the brain of a child? Okay, thank you very much for that question. The first thing we emphasize generally in Africa and all over the world is fresh vegetables, like green leafy vegetables, because most of the time when we talk about fruit and vegetables, they are nutrient rich they contain almost nutrients needed at that point in time talking mm -hmm. about minerals talking about vitamins talking about folates and because fruits and vegetables are low in sugar content they are low in calorie because normally with pregnancy women tend to gain weight mm -hmm. women tend to get gain weight and you would not want to add to that to you know consuming junks processed food fast food mm. this also in the um, indirectly affects the baby because a baby we call it big baby we call them macrosomic baby fast but food. yes fast food affects the baby yes exactly process whatsoever the mother takes in affects the baby because you know the the child get nutrients to the placenta and it is whatsoever nutrient that is in the body of the mother that the child also gets in so for example a woman that feeds more on processed food that feeds more on um, fast food that feeds more on junks sodas mm. will eventually come up with a macrosomic baby and such baby by the time they get out they have a kind of high glucose level such baby are most of the time admitted because at any point in time their glucose level can come down because they've been used to consuming glucose inside the body over and over again, again. so at any point in time the glucose level can come down and the baby is dead mm. so most of the time from our own setting such babies are admitted even in the intensive care units or that they'll be able to balance their level the the blood glucose level so it is whatsoever the mother consumes just as we are saying practically after the child is being born whatsoever the mother consumes would also we are going to really see it by the time the baby is also out mm. so nutrition goes a long way and we always educate them apart from fruits and fresh vegetables to take we do give them imatinics, especially folic acid. Mm -hmm. Even folic acid is not only for pregnant women. Folic acid is recommended for every woman at the reproductive age, even before getting pregnant, just to prepare the womb for pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So folic acid is a very important imatinics for the first 
three, three months of pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And then we have the B complex. We also give them B complex and some other blood tonic to just aid and give them strength at this point in time. Because overall and in general, all systems of the body is being affected during pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So, and they should also feed more, like feed more, feed often, because they are not only taking food for themselves, but also for the baby also. Now, you made mention of women taking in fruits and vegetables okay, as um, the major, you know, type of foods at the particular time which is going to benefit them and their children. Okay. But yet again, we tend to hear sometimes when they tell them to restrict themselves from certain fruits. So can you tell us some of these fruits which they are not advised to take in? when they are pregnant i think some particular period of time i don't know whether it's second or third trimester or thereabout okay that they are exempted from yeah, taking certain fruits how true is, is that it fruits or foods fruits. fruits fruits yeah okay i think that is dependent on the preferences of the women's women sometimes because some tend to prefer one fruit to another okay Sometimes to prefer one food to another. So it's not necessarily. Um, it's medical. not necessarily. Maybe there's a kind of food restricted okay. at a particular month or at a particular time. So there are no foods that would actually affect no, the child. No, not exactly. Most of it are just mites. For example, we do hear that okay, pregnant woman should not take snails mm. because by the time the baby is out, literally, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, and yeah. these are things that would really make the baby LD. Mm. They con it contains minerals, you know, it contains vitamins that is needed for the body. So, there isn't anything like there's particular type of food, particular types of food exempted mm. at. A particular trimester mm. or any month all right um well this approximately 66 percent of children under the age of five in sub-saharan africa countries do not reach their full cognitive potentials the highest percentage in the world why mm. do we find ourselves in this situation okay thank you for that question when we talk about cognitive development it can be affected either prior before birth mm. during birth and after birth just as we've been discussing a pregnant woman for example who has not been feeding well or taking a core smoking living a kind of Reckless bad life. lifestyle hey, not taking a well balanced diet so good nutrition the baby will come down with different kind of we call it we call it um i can't remember right now well different kind of disorders mm. for example we have the down syndrome we have the fetal alcohol syndrome for women that drinks alcohol there can be different kind of birth defect yes congenital malformations we call them congenital malformations mm. you can see you know a baby with you know the sh even from the appearance the shape you know of the head wrong. For the eyes, the nose, some we have a kind of webbed shaped neck, hmm. somehow like that of a dog also. So all this affects the neurological development of the baby. That is before pregnancy. And also pregnant women that have been exposed to infections hmm. can also infect the baby. So during the process of delivery, the baby can also be affected, able to prolong labor. A woman that has been in labor for a long hour, uh, though the number of hours is dependent on the gravity, the and uh, the gravity, the parity of the of the woman. For example, a woman who is just who just want to deliver for the first time, mm. the number of the hours of labor is always longer than the woman who is Delivery just like who is having time. maybe the third or the fourth pregnancy okay. so it's all dependent but as medical uh, practitioners will be able to tell when a long when the labor is prolonged mm. or not so during prolonged labor the child might have you know gone into fetal distress we call it fetal distress you know now tired and weak because mm. of the labor process and by the time the baby is out when the baby doesn't have the ability to cry and to breathe in oxygen the brain is already affected mm. and normally 
when the baby is out within 10 minutes of resuscitation like trying to bring the baby out and um, back alive mm. if the baby doesn't come up it's better to just stop the resuscitation because when the brain is without oxygen going to 20 to 30 minutes even if the baby eventually you know come up <laughs> it will affect the child. cognitive ability of that child mm. that is during the process of delivery and also during the process of delivery when a mother have a poor maternal effort you know as medical practitioners we have some instruments we use in assisting the woman to bring the baby out if such instruments are used by you know medical professionals that are not professional enough or don't have the technical ability to undo it the skull of the baby might be affected and indirectly affecting the brain development of the child mm -hmm. and then after birth just as we have mentioned poverty or not having access to a well-balanced diet or good nutrition would surely affect the cognitive development of the child or when the child doesn't have access to a good learning experience mm. or good education to show that such a child will not be skillful will not be smart will not be creative will not be intellectual mm. so all these affects it i tend to uh ponder on a particular uh topic the issue of mental disorder in the child i mean i tend to comprehend how it occur in in an adult but in the child we're talking about anxiety hi uh, attention hyperactivity issue uh, what what brings about this in the child i mean behavioral issues i mean it's okay like i said it happens in an adult i know we consider stress as a factor but mm. what stress is 15 year old going through that would cause <laughs> anxiety and behavioral depression and, and mm. all that i think that is the mentality generally we don't feel even babies undergo stress do you know that <laughs> okay stress. can you explain yes. that, <laughs> right. that even babies that you are talking about a 15 year old child <laughs> even babies hmm. because most of the time what we put them to you wouldn't say okay they are not involved in thinking in making decisions they are not engaged in any activity no but the stress of maybe going on a journey carrying them around carrying them under the sun on your task mm. they are stressed too and because it's anxiety <laughs> 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 no <laughs> now for, for a very young child it might not cause anxiety but it's still in one way or the other stress the brain the mm. brain development that is it so when such thing is consistent over time and just as i mentioned earlier experiences environmental interactions affect their cognitive development just imagine a child who is coming from a family that are always in violence seeing mother father fighting all the time siblings throwing so out it's and all it mm. affects them but we feel why should they be anxious why mm. should they come up with mental disorder these are things in which we are not just taking consideration of they indirectly affect the child because just as i explained that earlier this is the crucial and the most important part aspect of life in which their brain is ready to accumulate and accommodate anything whatsoever so and they are able to interact with the environment to what they see to what they hear to what they touch what they smell so all this affects how their brain are able to develop and with the fat and the statistics you know mm. children coming up with mental disorders and most of it are due to stress or child abuse violence that they have been exposed and introduced to you know different kind of evil activities even going on around mm. is enough reasons for them to come down with that now for kids no. uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry it's okay i'm going to cut it because we don't really have much time and we've actually been talking about the birth time and all but i'd like you to talk more about the nutritional part especially after birth okay nutritional what part after they actually take in that helps with their brain development and also the kind of activities that the parents put out to them in order for them to actually develop okay. into smart kids okay thank you for that question nutrition is one of the most 
important factor, environmental factor, okay. that affects the brain development of a child. And the first thing I would emphasize is about exclusive breastfeeding. That cannot be ignored. And exclusive breastfeeding is about feeding the baby with only breast milk for the first six months of life. Mm. No, no giving of water or, or any other supplement whatsoever. And there's this part of the breast milk we call the colostrum. It is a thick and a yellow breast milk that comes within the first few days of life. Mm -hmm. It is always encouraged that pregnant women give this to their babies because it is like twice rich in protein, rich in zinc. It contains immunoglobulins that we fight, that we boost the immune, immune system. So this is one important aspect of nutrition, exclusive breastfeeding mm -hmm. for the first six months. And then after six months, what are the other things that can, could, can be introduced to the baby? We, we always encourage, okay, food that starts with air. <laughs> I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I need to say it in Yoruba, like any mm -hmm. ewa. Okay. Aja, they are proteinous food that Pretty help in foods. building the cells, the body tissues. So, for example, taking egg, for example, egg is very rich and high in protein, especially the egg yolk. Mm. It contains B complex vitamin choline, which is very important in improving the neurological function of the baby. And then fish, fish contains vitamin D, omega-3 fatty acid. This can be seen in salmon fish sardine tuna fish all this also help the um, fish majorly with all its content prevents memory loss so it is not that you just take fish and give to the baby mm. yes you can it is it is always expected that okay you give a child one egg per day whatsoever may give a child one egg per day but fish for example can just be sprinkled in their food whatever food they are preparing maybe porridge maybe beans sprinkle fish you understand and then the place of fruits and vegetables too cannot be emphasized over emphasized give them more vegetables i could remember when i was younger <laughs> i was really taken care of by my father so most of our food even to egg fine egg when my dad fries the egg he would always put fresh vegetables inside beans is going to add vegetables so in whatsoever food content you are giving them slice some vegetables inside some potatoes allow them you know to feed on carrots different kind of fruits you can squeeze orange give the child to drink so all these affect their development and then dairy products milk yogurt are also rich in protein which all culminates in affecting the neurological function and the cognitive development of the baby mm -hmm. and also okay well um, nuts and seeds also are rich in folate they are rich in folic acid majorly rich in vitamins for example walnuts almonds all this can be introduced to the child's diet mm -hmm. just gradually how about the activities talking of the parents towards the children? Okay, talking about, you mean how the parents how can help? Yes, and how they communicate with them, you know, to instill certain, you know, characteristics into okay. them. Okay, thank at you that very stage. much. Thank you very much. Just as I mentioned earlier, sorry, we don't have much time. <laughs> about engaging the sense organ, what they see, what they feel, what they touch, what they smell. Mm. So the first thing is playing with them. Maybe you're playing games, you know, involve them in activities that would activate the sense organ. For example, you know, just a child, you can just involve such a child in playing games, maybe moving the hand and you are just dramatizing. They are most of the time captured by what they see and what they hear. So telling a child, okay, dramatize like this, do it like this, all help in developing the cognitive ability of the child mm -hmm. then i explained the other time making a mess of something most of the time as africans we don't just want to you know stress ourselves we would prefer see this child let me feed you mm. but you don't know that when you allow the child to feed is yourself and scatter the food mess it up you know some we carry the food put it on the <laughs> eye on the body we don't know that it is a way of <laughs> 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 them, themselves yeah they are exploring their environment mm. 
and two that just just like I explained the other time, you know, a child that has touched the food. So child would have you know understand the texture and the temperature of the food, mm. the sounds when the f the child is smashing the food. All those help the sense organs and help develop their brain and then reading also they don't necessarily have to know how to master letters or word before we allow them to read because mm -hmm. reading also is the first step to their language and communication saying yes no even though they've not mastered letters and words you know showing them picture of a thing this is a dog what did i call it say it after me this is a dog and then researchers have also discovered that Cuddling, you know, holding tight to a child, caring for them, cuddling them also affects positively the brain development of a child. Mm -hmm. According to research, they discovered that, you know, shy they were more cuddled by their parents, they were more intellectual, creative, and smarter mm -hmm. than those who were just, you know, Neglected. give them food, Neglected. take care of them, and mm -hmm. just let's leave it. So, those are activities that parents can to engage in okay. to develop the, the brain of their child well i really wish this conversation does not end <laughs> how about you <laughs> i have plenty to see yeah, plenty of course. To this uh, we definitely have another session like this <laughs> and thank you for joining us this morning you're welcome <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here too well to our viewers thank you once again for joining this episode of daybreak africa and we have heard from our medical practitioner she has broken it down and down and <laughs> down and i must say i have learned a lot a lot that i didn't even know before and i wish you have also taken note of one or two informations of which will definitely be helpful to you and your children your family at large thank you once again for joining us on this episode of debris africa this will be handing you over to our lagos station who definitely has a package prepared for you till we come your way again next time i am angela daku oh wonderful day ahead of me is you bye bye